What's cooking money and life movement? JG here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to Advocacy Friday. If you're a home based brand like me, you should glue your eyes to the show because in the first part of the show, I take out a post from my main blog. Okay? Link in the description below. And expand it a bit for the current times. Then we go talk about the objection of the week. Want to know that part of the show? <laughs> Watch till the end. I ain't telling you right now. Okay? What the hell is happening with WordPress? <laughs> hey, I came across this uh, blog post of mine uh, just now. And I wrote this at a point where I was about to give up on network marketing. Okay, I was about to give up on network marketing. And I tried um, all this. Uh, I tried several several other money makers. Yeah. By the way, the blog post I'm talking about is entitled Augmenters. Okay. Augmenters. Now this was a bit of a bit of an adventure for me because um, nothing was coming in uh, in my network marketing business my venture so i had to try something else i had to i had to try something else because the holiday season the holiday season was coming up now i called it augmenters because well there will be there will come a time when magigimatuma lang network marketing business nyo right you have to face that reality you have to you have to accept that fact okay Network marketing will work for you most of the time, but there will be times that it won't. Okay? It's a harsh reality of a business, not just network marketing. Uh, franchises also experience this. Uh, traditional companies also experience this. Even online sellers, right? Even influencers, they experience this. Okay. Okay. So, basically, augmenters are, uh, are ventures you get into just to uh, answer, oh, not to answer, sorry, but to fill the gap your main business would leave if, a, um, if business is down, if that business is down, market is down. You have something to uh, you, this is your backup plan the augmenters now <clears throat> now this blog post of mine is a little bit outdated <laughs> okay but hey like i said like i said a while ago i'm going to expound on it for the current times and i will right so as an augmenter what can temporarily substitute your network marketing income these days? Hmm. Mala random thoughts. Ah. <laughs> Mala random thoughts to, ah. Okay. Kidding aside. You can try um, direct selling, of course. Especially if you have the skills for it. Right? You can, well, you have your own brand. I'm assuming that you have your own brand. <laughs> like me. Okay. If I can't get new downlines or new business for my network marketing venture, I can always turn back to my brand. Okay. I also, I offer um, one time, one time, cons one time, what do you call this? One time consulting, right? One time consulting and i have my brand deals that's an augmenter i can classify that as an augmenter okay i got my brand deals i got my affiliate marketing all right if you could visit my blog there's a section there called the life store right the life store is one of my augmenters i have physical and digital products there okay that's an augmenter. 
affiliate marketing. Now, I also, well, in the live store, I also carry physical products wherein I'm a, um, I'm a reseller of some, uh, I'm a reseller of some of them. I actually keep stocks of one of them and I refer, I refer new customers to another one. So, reseller level ako. You can also, well, <clears throat> another kind of augmenter is whatever skills you have. Whatever skills you have gained when you were an employee or whatever passions you have. Okay? I can be also a consultant to cosplayers. Okay? Cosplay is also an, an augmenter. Why? When you compete in a cosplay competition, there's, there's, usually, a, there's usually a cash prize. Okay. Usually cash price yun. Sayang. Diba? If you're a um, amateurista, okay? I do think, I used to front for two bands during the during the late 90s. Yeah, if you, kung hindi nyo naitatanong, okay? I'm a damn good singer. <laughs> that, that is also an, an augmenter. If your talent is also singing, you can join, you can join singing competitions. Amateur level, ha? If you've gone pro, you can, well, you can, you can go for gigs. You can go for your old gigs. Augmenter, augmenter din yon. While you're never marketing, while you're either building your network marketing business or, or any of your main businesses, or the market for that business is, uh, is a bit, it's a bit slow, matumal in Filipino so do not discount the uh, the power of an augmenter okay if your main business is slow these days or um, the business that you're building is really tedious okay or if you're a network marketer like me you don't have um, you don't have new people right now coming in. The product is a bit uh, slow to sell right now. Never discount on Augmenter. Right? I do not give a fuck what your upline says. If you're a network marketer like me. right? I do not give a fuck what your upline says about uh, I don't know. I focus on that. Mag-i-Avon ka na naman. Example lang ha. Mag-i-Avon ka na naman. Eh, andito nga tayo sa networking eh. Don't believe him one bit. <laughs> okay? There's one thing I realized about network marketing. Okay? And it's this. Network marketing is not a be-all, end-all. It's not the ultimate. Alright? Times can change, an economy can change in a heartbeat. If you don't have an augmenter, saka pupulutin. Sa pupulutin ng pamilya mo. Okay? Sa pupulutin ng, well, financial standing mo. Okay? When it comes to augmenters, don't listen to your uplines. Yun ang advice ko. Alright? Well, if you, well, if at this point you're still clueless as to what I'm talking, as to what I'm talking about, link in the description below for the actual blog post, okay? Now, if you're, if you find value in that blog post, come back here and leave a comment. Let's talk, okay? Let's talk about it. I'm always free to... I'm always uh, have the free will to discuss whatever old blog posts I have. Okay? Ako na nagsasabi sa inyo. Most of them are as old as four to five years. Okay? So, we need to keep up with the current times. That's why I set up this show. That's the purpose of this show. Alright? Now, that's over and done with. On to the objection of the week. But, First, a word from our sponsors.
guys. I'm here to um I'm here to promote a a long standing uh home based business of mine. It's called Load Extreme and well sila lang naman ng pioneers ng universal prepaid loading eh sa buong mundo, okay? They've been around since 2000s. I became a member <clears throat> I signed up for the technology in 2008 because I was so I was so fucking tired of um, running out of running out of load at the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sure you relate to that. Rain uh you lose uh, you lose a lot of data in just one sitting then it's the middle of, it's the middle of the night and you just can't go out right now to look for a store to, to sell you some load or to sell you prepaid load out of the question okay so I signed up in 2008 then they rebranded somewhere sometime in the mid to uh, mid to uh, the early 2010s to V Mobile. Then in 2015, uh, I became a dealer because I was so satisfied with their service. Then a year later, they went back to Load Extreme. Now, this, what you see here, okay, is the V Mobile stock uh, user card. Okay. I usually offer this for. 300 pesos. This one alone. Okay? Wala pang load to. Wala pang load to. Okay? Kayo maglo-load nito. This is a 300 peso value. But, okay? But, if you can refer me a potential dealer, mm -hmm. see this? See that? See that? Yeah. Okay. See that card? Yeah. I will give one of these to you for free okay for every successful dealer sign up okay i'm going to give this to you for free now it's considered a uh, rarity these days the v mobile stock i say revert revert back to load extreme kasi ang, ang company so they rebranded themselves back to load extreme leaving these as well all this you can say it's a uh, price collection if you're if you're a collector of prepaid cards. Now, let me let me be clear on this. This is not a telco. Okay? This is just a service provider for universal prepaid loading. Okay? Let me show you that. Yeah. Okay? So, nakakaintindihan na tayo. Now, you have to all this you have to dm me through instagram or or my facebook page okay use the code jg ramos okay it's in the subtitles already use the code jg ramos so you can avail of this you can avail of this for free okay once you refer a potential dealer and he or she signs up okay pag naging dealer yon i mean yung nagbayad siya na nagbayad siya na initial investment and of course uh na meet ko na na part of my team this one is for free sayo na to All right you just use the code jg ramos Para ma identify ko that you're a feeling of this. You're a feeling of this very special promo. Now let me repeat. This card normally sells for 300 pesos. But if you refer a dealer to me, pag nag sign up siya, sayo na to. Nagkakaintindi pa tayo. Okay? So, good luck, guys. Happy hunting. Hmm. Wala. <clears throat> I guess the sponsor is done now. Okay. So we're now going to talk about the objection of the week. Okay. 
<clears throat> this objection is one of the most common. Okay, whether you agree with me, whether you agree with me or not, All right? The objection of the week is dun, da, da, da. I don't hear any drums, so I want a drum roll. Not interested. Okay. Does it sound a bell? <laughs> Does it sound a bell? Now, almost every prospect will tell you that they're not interested in your product or opportunity. You can take that to the bank. Okay? If you don't agree with me, comment below. Let's debate on it. <laughs> it's probably the most common objection you will ever come across. Whether you're a beginner, whether you're a veteran, or whether you're a retiree in sales or business. Okay? Nakadikwatro na ako ngayon because I am that confident in discussing this. Okay? Nakadikwatro ako ngayon. So, what do you do when the prospect says that he or she is not interested? Now, when I was um, when I was just starting out in network marketing, okay, when I was just starting out in network marketing, this is the objection I commonly get. All right, during those times, my first prospects were my. Own. My neighbors, relatives, almost all of them will say one thing, not interested. <laughs> you know what my response is? I would stay quiet. <laughs> because no one, no one told me that, <clears throat> well, actually, my first upline told me that, well, network marketing is easy. Uh, andito lang ako ha, andito lang ako para guidan ka. I look back at it now, I would say, I've heard that bullshit before. <clears throat> I've heard that bullshit before. Now, that's what I would do. That's what I did when I was just starting out. But, right now, if someone would tell me that they're not interested in my brand, most especially my brand, huh? Most especially my brand, I would ask them what would what would it take for you to become interested in my brand? I would ask them directly. When I was um, in in the early days, I would ask them, why would you not be interested? business ko. Why? <laughs> I would ask them that question. Right now, yung sinabi ko kanina, what would it take for you to become interested in my brand? What's it gonna take? Nindiretsyon ko sila. What's it gonna take? Pag yung brand, pag hindi sila interesado sa brand ko, ha? Now, if, if I would offer them my network marketing opportunity and they said they're not interested. Here's what I would do. Okay. No big deal. We're still friends. We're still friends, ba? Kasi, it might, it might, it might not be, it might not be for you, eh. Pero, friends na ba tayo? That, I would ask them that question also. If yung inoffer ko sila ng network na mag network marketing. Okay? But if they to, but again, if they told me that they're not interested in my brand, I would ask them this question again. What's it going to take for you to be interested in my brand? Diretso ko sila. Ayaw na kasi mag mag patumpik-tumpik pa. Eh. Right? I'm done with the amenities bullshit. I'm done with the uh, with the justification bullshit, of course. Alatana mo sa bosses ko. 
Hala ta sa... Siguro sa body language ko. I'm through with that. What's it gonna take for you to be interested in me? In my brand? In my business? What's it gonna take? I would even ask those questions with a smiling face. With a smile on my face. You mala joker, ah. <laughs> so, that would be, that would be uh, my response these days if, uh, if someone tells me that they're not interested in, in either my brand or my business or what I'm, or whatever I'm offering to them. The takeaway clothes is such a, uh, it's such a great invention <laughs> because it trains you, okay, because it trains you to remove yourself immediately from the transaction. Even before the prospect says no, or they're not interested. Kasi removed ka you're, 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 you're emotionally disconnected already from the, from the possible, from the possible outcome of the sale. Okay? I wanted to become a professional at this. So, that's one of the, that's probably the first thing I learned. To remove myself from the sale or, or the transaction. Okay? Okay lang. You're not interested? Probably not for you. You're not, inter you're not interested in my brand? What's it gonna take for you to become interested? That's how I would uh, address the objection of not interested these days. Okay? That's why I made it the objection of the week. Okay? Uy! <laughs> it's the end of another episode again. Okay? I'm proud of you for sticking it out with me. Right? If you found value in this app or episode, <laughs> let me know in the comment section. Okay? Let me know. And don't forget the drill. You see the you see that logo being lit up by this lamp and the one I'm pointing to? Hit that to subscribe. Hit the bell and comment with done. Okay? Doing this drill, I assure you, keeps you in the loop when it comes to my channel. Okay? So thanks for watching it all. And I'll see you in the next episode. Ang gasa mo li, Money in Life Movement.